Hi everyone, I welcome you back. I know it's been a long time. So today I am back with a very interesting app where I'll show you how you can translate from one language to another using just two functions. And today we'll be seeing it, how we can integrate it in Power Apps. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So I have skipped the portion where we are logging into our account and then creating a Canvas app for us. So once you do that, you will be uh, open to a screen like this. And once this is there, uh, let's start designing our app a bit. I won't be designing our app in a professional way. So I'll just be adding the bits and pieces which are required uh, to show the functions in our app. So starting with the label just to give our app a title and let's name it as the translator app and i think it's okay translator app right it's here now let us just fit a label to the screen size and give the font size to maybe 30 so that is clear and big and then center align this and then let's move down and change the background color to make it look a bit presentable and once this is done let us keep the font color to white that's it for to, uh, for now and let me just put a simple button which will be taking to my second screen where the actual translation will be done so let's name the back button as espanol translator because this is what will be translating to that is will be translating to spanish and yeah this looks a bit dull i know but this is just for the sake of showing how this works font size um, we can increase it to 30 and the border radius as well so that we have a bit curved edges so yeah that's it now um to navigate this button to a second screen we will be needing a second screen and let's just keep this one uh, scrollable screen and to navigate it i will need to select the function which is on select sorry which is on select and when it's when i'm selecting it it will navigate me to my second screen so when i select navigate screen 2 pops up on its own and then i give comma and then the type of transition that you want to do you add that and close your bracket that's it for today. Next, uh, we come to a second screen and here just to maintain the uniformity, let me just change the color to what it was in the previous screens. And let me just uh, name it as Espanol Translator. So for a Spanish translator, what are the things that we'll be needing? We'll be needing text boxes where I'll be putting my uh, English text and my Spanish text as well. So let me start with the first one that is where I'm inputting my English text and copy it and bring a second one where I'm putting my Spanish text. So to know what to put in here, I'll also put a label and let us just have two labels and name it as type the English word here and for this uh, let me just write it as translated version is that's it so for 
are easy understanding let me just select on this uh, text input to see what is the name of this card so it is named as text input one so for my ease i'm naming it as eng which stands for english and this i am changing it as esp which stands as um espanol great uh, now that it's done uh, so what how do we translate it so for that we'll need a connector so we go to the cylindrical part and here we simply type translator and there's this free version that we have and we add it so if you are signing in for the first time you will have an option where you need to build the connection they'll ask for a subscription key you don't need to give that just click on connect since i've already translated it i don't need a, uh, a connection to be built again now that uh, this connector has been installed what do i want i want it to translate my uh, text that is here in my text box to spanish so i will click here and then i will change the default function as uh trans later microsoft translator okay dot translate to where is my query it's my eng dot text comma and which is the language that i want it to translate i want it to translate to espanol so they'll do it and it's good to go so text input in Spanish is Entrada de Texto. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it well. Uh, now, if you want to listen to this, so what will we do? Uh, we'll add an audio input to it. And for audio input, we go here. And let us just fit the size to fit in a text box. And for our media, we want it to see it's coming on its own that is we want it to translate the text to speech so where is my query my text box name is uh, esp so i will name it as esp dot text comma and what is the language so it is translating to good so this is how we can make it simply now let's start the app from the beginning and see how it's working so let's play it espanol translator so my text input is hi good morning so it says let's hear what it says hola hola buenos dias so I'm not sure if you can hear the audio, but I can bet on this that we are clearly hearing it say hola buenos dias. So this is how quickly we made an English to Spanish translator. So go ahead and bring your creativity to life and make um, maybe English to Latin translator or whatever languages you want to play with. So go ahead and give it a try and I hope you like this short and informative video. Bye.